me again. Um, this time, a rather big package came through the letterbox. I'm not quite sure how the girl managed to get that through the letterbox, but he did. I mean, considering the letterbox is probably just about that wide, um, I'm kind of guessing it was a bit of a squeeze. I'm also guessing that it's The Sims Medieval, the collector's edition. So without further ado, I shall open it. Excuse me. Alright, now. There we go. Uh, yes. It is, but it's still in the bubble wrap. Luckily, I have a knife. Which is rather sharp. So, <laughs> kind of being careful not to damage a lot to that. Ta da! And obviously the usual invoice, receipts, whatever you want to call it. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so, there we are. It seems medieval. Rather thick box, is it there? Seems medieval collector's edition. Let's just get it into focus. So there we go. Now, rather carefully, I shall run the knife. Now, this thing it makes things a hell of a lot quicker than uh, trying to rip the car off. I think that's all I shall need it for. Okay, so the sleeve off, the usual pictures on the back there, information, blah 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 blah. Uh, requirements Windows XP SP2, Vista SP1 or Windows 7, a 2.0 gigahertz P4 processor or equivalent, a 256 megabyte video card with support for Pixel Shader 2.0. Uh, you will need at least 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. That's obviously preferable. And 5.3 gigabytes of hard space with at least 1 gigabyte of additional space for custom content and saved games. Uh, and it's just got a whole load of uh, video cards, so I won't go through them. Uh, the infamous Plum Bob and inside as you may have seen from other videos you get the in-game soundtrack which has the good old medieval sword and so on and so forth so we shall put Ooh. <laughs> don't forget Ooh, remember to sniff <laughs> a manual a book oh EA are kind of trying to cut down on these, so while you can, oh, breathe in that beautiful uh, manual. Anyway, inside the manual there's usual kind of sort of artwork, re these sort of things would be classed as like renders if you put them online and, and whatever. There you have a throne and... Well, it's, it's like a big house more than anything. Uh, there's a few more screens on that page. The rest are kind of just screenshots. Then you have quite a small map there. Uh, I don't know if you can read that with the camera keep zooming in and out to focus. It's uh, Yokothia. The Holy City for Jacobans worldwide, or oh, whatever, Jacobans, Jacobans. And then the usual few more screenshots. Um, little bits of sort of artwork and whatever. The plum bob, which you can, uh, well, you actually do need 
to cut it out with scissors, as it says there, cut around black line, score fold on dotted lines, glue tab, blah blah blah, done. And so that's something that won't be cut out and put together, that will be kept in the box for prosperity's sake. The game, of course, I mean, <laughs> wouldn't be uh, anything without the game. And actually on the the spine of the game, I don't oh, come on, silly camera. Thank you. Can you just say that collector's is Oh, whatever. It has a kind of bit of a hard time focusing sometimes, so... And I think it's classed as an A3 size uh, pedestal, which I guess you could put it up on a wall or, or somewhere, I mean, not really that important. And, as you may have seen on others, you get two of these uh, wax seals with the plumb bob um, on there and on the back it kind of looks like you peel that off to stick it on I guess you could stick it on stuff right? I mean if you're going to write a letter to someone uh, and that's it now you may be wondering why would you pay extra for the sake of like having this fancy box with just a sleeve on top I mean the, the game's now different to the original game. What you also get is the downloadable content. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the downloadable content is, so, um, hmm, I shall pause it there. Right, so here we are on the, the game website, as you can see there. There it has the per cup, Sims Medieval, blah 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 blah. If we click on there, um, as you can see there, it says the Sims, and let's focus, the Sims Medieval game exclusive because game are the only retailers that are stocking the exclusive collector's edition. Now, if we go to product details, as it shows on the picture right there, the stuff that I've basically just shown you, extra stuff you get is, when it focuses, DLC content, three throne rooms and ten outfits, the souvenir game sketch art booklet, 3D art, 3D card artwork to put out and create exclusive A3 pads to wax seal featuring an embossed plum bob. It says one, but you do actually get the two, as you see. A map of your kingdom, the audio CD soundtrack of the game. Now, uh, if we go back to just the limited edition, by the way, I didn't pay 39.99, I managed to get it for 32.49 because of, uh, Certain deals. Now, with just the limited edition, you just get two exclusive outfit sets, the Monarch King and Queen set, and an Executioner Male and Female set. Three bonus throne rooms with Barbarian, Dark Magic and Princess themes. Those are the only downloadable things you get with the limited edition. And as previously shown, you get three throne rooms and ten outfits. So you do get that little bit extra downloadable content, and so I guess it's kind of worth it in a way. But, you know, it's kind of up to you to decide whether it is or not. And so I will leave it there. Oh, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Hello. Uh, I will leave it there, and that was my unboxing of the Sims Medieval Collector's Edition. Um, I don't know if you want to see any more, so if you do, I will 
give you a quick look inside the actual game case. The last little segment of this is again I've already taken the wrapper off so I don't need to mess about. Obviously the disc, what would the game be without the disc? And the extra little bits inside where that is my game code on here. I'm not, obviously not going to show you. Uh, to unlock your limited edition bonus items, blah, 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 and then enter the code to unlock the items. Uh, there is the manual. On the back of the manual, as usual, at the, the bottom, can you just sort of see there is the usual place for the serial code. Um, it's the typical manual, manual with you know, black and white pictures and uh, sort of hints and tips uh, to do certain things uh, and whatnot. Uh, that's just your usual multi-language thing that you got to swarmy. Um, Svenska uh, Dansk for the Danish people and so it's let's go there. Norsk. Norsk is lost it washed. And so there we go. The collector's edition of the Sims Medieval. Da, 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 da. Exclusive collector's edition plus bonus downloadable content for your game. So that is all.